Hi, this is Christopher Moss of the newly formed ASIC software. So if you're watching this, thank you for moving across from my old channel. Um, yeah, I did say in some of the comments that I've been rebranding recently and uh, we've rebranded as asicsoftware.co.uk. So that's been taking up quite a lot of my time and that's why these videos have sort of fallen behind. Anyway, as I mentioned last time, we'll be covering collections today. Now collections are something that sound more complicated I like a lot of symphony stuff sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is uh, which hopefully you will understand by the end of this video anyway the way that I've set this up is we're going to be using a speaker um, entity and a conference entity speakers and conferences something pretty much common across the whole PHP world I guess and pretty much any other industry with IT um, so yeah, it's a, an easier example than the one I was going to go with, which was DJs and the genres or something, I can't remember now. Anyway, um, got a basic couple of entities set up, a conference which has got um, one to many speakers. I know speakers could speak at many conferences and whatnot, but let's not overcomplicate things. And then we also have the speaker entity, which is um, pretty basic as well, just its name and the conference they're speaking at. So. I've set up like the, um, I don't know what that person form is, probably should have deleted that. Really basic in this first uh, first one, we're just taking a look at um, basically what it is. So let's just refresh that very quickly. Oh, I should probably show you the controller as well. Um, yeah, so to set up a collection, uh, it's kind of weird in that you've got to set some stuff up in advance otherwise it's empty and it, it, it confused this was really confusing to me when um, I first started doing these I'll just show you what I mean so like you would normally go through your uh, setting up your form you create your entity and then you put that entity onto the form as we've discussed in the previous form videos um, I'll show you the form as well that would be really handy so we've got our basic form which has got the name of the conference. It's got the speakers, which is this collection type, and then it's just got a save button. So yeah, this collection type also has this type property, um, which is a little confusing, I guess, because we're telling it, that. I guess that's why we always use the type, um, what's the word for that? I don't know, type, 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 whatever. Anyway, we're telling it to use this type, so another form effectively, and then if we follow that form, that's just holding down control and clicking that by the way, if you've not seen that before, um, then we have another form, so like it's a form inside a form, uh, and then that form is simply the name, uh, and again that relates to speaker, and the speaker just has a name, all the other stuff we can't set, so that's the only reason why. And So it's pretty basic really, um, typical form, but it's contained inside another form and that's the first thing to get your head around. Now, when you look on the docs, you'll see that you can have like crazy nests of forms and you can, uh, which is cool, but it's also super confusing. So like when you're first starting out, don't try and do anything mental because it will confuse you. Uh, but effectively, if we look at this now, uh, let's refresh that. So you've got nothing and also you've got this speakers thing which comes up because in our template I think at this point the templates just rendering out a blank form so um, because speakers is on where are we yeah because speakers is part of this conference form it renders it out but there's nothing on it because it's expecting some stuff but all we've done is say where are we create a bl empty conference entity and Symphony knows that the conference entity should have some speakers, but we've not told it to have any speakers, so right now it's blank. And if we submit that, or give it a name, whatever, and then we submit it, and we have our conference entity, which is like the overruling thing, uh, which has got the name, we've just given it a speakers empty array. The array bit's important and an idea of null, we expect that because we're not saving it at this point. So let's just refresh it. So yeah, this is why I put this in here. 
because you've got to give it some empty data or some data to get it to look, uh, you know, to actually have almost like some form to your form. So just this is also kind of weird. You get these zero and one. You can take this out inside your template. Um, but these are like the elements inside that. So, you know, you can just add another one in and whatever. I'm not going to do that. You, you can see for yourself how that works. Um, so, yeah, you've got this, this form set up. And that's the gist of it. Now, if we save that, interestingly, now you've got this array of speakers. So this is containing two other speaker entities. So it's an array, an array of uh, speaker entities inside this speakers array. So that's like the, that's like the fundamental bit to get your head around. All you're doing is creating an array containing other arrays of objects so hopefully that's kind of like making sense because each one of these can then contain other arrays you know because if like your speaker has like a favorite beverage type or favorite pizza type or something it, it can be anything really but you can't see that at this point because it's just sort of collapsed down to keep it readable but if you look into each one of them they can then contain like you know any object can contain sub objects and that's the gist of it that's just the collection so once you've got your head around that the rest of this just become quite easy um even though yeah it, it kind of the when we get to the uh delete bit like that looks kind of crazy but anyway so we'll move on now to adding 